We got clear air. Call into the mine. We got a victim. Hey, buddy, buddy, can you hear me? He is breathing. We're going to need to get the backboard up here. We're going to get him out of here. Hang on, buddy. We're going to get you out of here. Whenever something happens in an underground mine, mine rescue guys are the ones that are running into the burning mine while everyone else is running out. Do you hear me? We're kind of like firefighters, paramedics, and super miners that know how to take care of the stuff that can go wrong underground. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a knee. Take your hard hats off, make sure your lights are on. The donning process for us is very formal because we're trusting our lives to these apparatus to protect us from toxic gases. What we were putting on was a four-hour self-contained breathing apparatus. <laughs> we have a communication line. That provides us a hard link back to the surface so we can find our way out. It also adds means of us connecting ourselves to each other. Is that better? Advance. We advance up to the entrance to the mine and we check, make sure it's safe to enter, and then we go in. The first thing we do is we do another apparatus check. All right, you got clear again. If something's gonna go wrong, it's usually gonna go wrong there at the beginning. The next thing we do is uh, what we call systematic exploration. We advance in a little ways, then we kind of back out. We go up a parallel tunnel. We run into an area of loose roof. You see we're supporting them up with those pieces of white PVC, which simulate timbers. Hey buddy, are you injured? No, I'm good, I'm standing. You have to speak loud and clearly, and so after a while, it wins you. So the real simple commands are actually formalized into horn signals. One blast tells everybody that, hey, we're going to stop. Two blasts mean we're going to advance further. Three blasts, we're going to retreat. We're really just students that are training to become mine rescue. We actually train to go and compete at regional mine rescue contests against these professional companies. We may have two years of experience where they may have 20. We actually do fairly well, which is kind of a bragging rights for us. Whenever I was approaching graduation, there was kind of the scramble to find jobs and internships. But what helped were the contacts that I made through the University Mine Rescue Team. That's where I got all of my internships. And Mine Rescue especially is a real big brotherhood. We all have friends that we know out in the industry that take care of us, and we take care of them. Hold on, buddy. We're going to get you out of here.